Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. Welcome, everybody, to week three of the NFL on ESPN. I'm Chris Berman. We're here to get you set for what should be a good early season test for both of these clubs. Detroit, Minneapolis, now! Well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hi folks, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to the Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome. With me, as usual, is commentator extraordinaire, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Peter O'Keefe. Hope you like that intro. Uh, now, who has caught your attention down on the field? Thanks, Dan. I'm watching a coach whose career I've followed pretty closely over the years. He's just an all-around talent and a supreme competitor. And a guy like that can get it done in so many ways. We'll see how his game plan unfolds once we get started, but first, the toss of the coin. Heads it is. All right, Dan, interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Vikings are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Bernard Berrien found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. That set up a 47-yard field goal. The Vikings get the first points of the game and go up by three. The Lions midway through the first, number nine, would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. The Vikes towards the end of the first quarter, Vikes up by three. Vishante Shianko came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They move ahead by 10. The Lions now in the second quarter, number 31, was able to step in front of this pass and pick one off, but he wasn't done there. Touchdown for the Vikings. Lions behind, 17 to nothing. Johnson is gonna try to stretch the field here. He's gonna make them pay. The Vikes, after getting an interception, the Vikings with the ball at the 41. Number 49 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Lions late into the second quarter. Lions back by 17. Number nine would drop back and put one right on the money. And that's where we'll leave this one. Vikes are up at the half, 17 to seven. Time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time, there could be no question. Number 31 has played outstanding. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Boomer, and welcome back to our broadcast presented in ESPN Game Sound. Designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in... All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Vikings stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Brett Favre would find his target on this one. A 23-yard touchdown for the Vikings. The Vikings have opened it up and now lead by 17. After driving 45 yards on 10 plays, Jason Lookma, no Hansen, would come on and connect on the field goal try. Connect on the field goal. Lions behind by 14. Number nine connected with his man on this one. The Vikes have it after a turnover on downs. Adrian Peterson is gonna take this one right up the gut. Look at the burst as he busts into the secondary. There he goes. A 28 yard touchdown for the Vikings. Vikes out in front, 31 to 10. Number 37 would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. And that's where we'll leave this one. Bike to serve up a blowout, 31 to 10. Now let's talk to a player who was instrumental in their dominant running game. 
and is our player of the game. Adrian Peterson is on the sidelines with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thank you, Chris. You excelled under pressure today and led your team to a big win. What put you guys over the top? I thought that we really performed well offensively. We ran our plays cleanly, and everybody did their part. And we managed to rack up some serious yards as a result. All in all, it was a pretty good game for us. Back to you, Chris. With that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. Have a great night.